Hi, this is Farstarter and this is a review of the D-Arts Forte and uh, what we have here is the box and we can see the figures here Forte and Gospel or Bass and Tremble if you are uh, using the Mega Man series instead of Rockman and then we have the figure on one side and then on the other side and at the back we have uh, poses with uh, both of them and also with the classic Rockman and I'll be comparing this with Rockman 2 so let's open the box and let's take a look on the D-Arts Forte whether you know them as Bass and Treble or Forte and Gospel this D-Arts set includes two figures much like the classic Rockman release Forte out of the box already has the Forte Buster already attached on his right arm together with an almost accurate head and body sculpt what takes your breath away are the nicely applied paint details but was slightly disappointed with the small gaps that glued some parts together. Forte is inclusive of two face replacements to exchange expressions whenever you are playing with a figure with either Rockman or his partner Gospel. To use these, remove the top portion of the helmet and the lower mask exposing the peg on face. Other replaceable parts include a left Forte Buster arm and a normal arm for the right plus three extra hands on this mix. Forte's support wolf partner gospel in a word looks amazing. However, this has a few limitations on some of its joints. Honestly, I'm not sure if the figure has knee joints because of how tight these are on the figure. Now a quick size comparison between the four. Forte is taller than uh, the classic Rockman even though you take out the uh, helmet accent here on top. He is still taller than this guy. And then when it comes to between the two uh, partners, Rush is a smaller um, just because the head sculpt on, uh, on Gospel is hunched while we have a um, longer neckline for uh, Rush. And then let's go through the articulation points of Forte and Gospel. So let's start with Gospel first. Uh, he has a head joint and you can rotate the head if you want to but it's hard to swivel the head from left to right because of these accents here on the head. And then the tail is on a soft plastic material so you can bend it over but it does warp back to its original form. And then we have joints here, fr front and back but um, I'm still trying to figure out whether he has a knee joint here. So if you have your own gospel, do check if this one has a joint. But if it doesn't move, it means uh, it's not meant to be. And just a quick note on uh, Forte, uh, the paint applications here are really smooth and quite oily. Uh, I thought at first it just because of my hands uh, after eating and did touch this figure uh, to check out, but um, after wiping it out with a clean cloth, it seems like, yeah, it's really slippery um, on most of the paint applications on a Forte. And then we have a head articulation and neck, which is kind of nice. We have shoulder pads here, and we have extensions here, and then upper bicep cut, double, well, single jointed elbow. And then whenever you fold the arms, there's still a part here that hides the joints altogether, which is quite nice. And then we have the leg articulation, knee joint too, and then a slight foot articulation. So we have a gem here underneath, just like the classic Rockman. And I'm really digging this figure because he has more or better articulation when it comes to upper torso joints. Just be careful when you bend this section here because uh, as you can see, there is a slight cut here because I did try to forge most of the possibilities for this figure. And that is all you need to know about both. I really like the set, especially for them because on how possible this is against the classic Rockman. As a conclusion, the D-Arts Forte and Gospel is a good-looking Tamashii Web exclusive set. Forte has amazing articulation that is better than Rockman and Gospel though having limited articulation, it definitely has better mold than Rush. I wish that the set could have some effects for Forte's buster arm that could have been set a better value, but that is just one of those things I can let go of. I highly recommend getting this set and neglect how much this actually costs because it is all worth it. And that is my review of the DR's Forte from the Rockman series. 
If you want to know the possibilities and details for both figures, check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more Toyo reviews.